The emergence of flat track racing basically coincides with motorcycles assuming their traditional shape back in 1920s. Today this bike competition on the dirt circuit, where riders spend more time sliding rather than having traction, no longer possesses its former popularity. However, flat tracker styled models are still attracting the attention of custom builders and mass market manufacturers who want to monetize on the design. Today we'll review the newest and the best looking models within this exotic class of motorbikes. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Indian Scout FTR 750 Built around an ultralight steel frame, the competition-only Scout FTR 750 is designed by Indian Motorcycle from scratch, becoming the company's first full-factory flat-track motorcycle in more than 60 years. Responsible for winning the laps is the proprietary water-cooled 750cc V-twin that is fed by a large, centrally located airbox. The super-compact engine weighs around 105 pounds and is capable of delivering almost 110 horsepower while easily spinning past 10,000 rpm when needed. In addition, Indian Motorcycle Racing Engineering Team gave the bike sleek carbon fiber bodywork that is lightweight and aerodynamic, creating minimum propulsion loss. This bike is currently available for purchase for $50,000, and the racing teams are eligible for a 5 grand discount. The 20 Flat Tracker by Gasoline Motor Co. This ambitious custom build by the Australian Gasoline Motor Company is inspired by the traditional American flat track racers. The bike is based on the 2000 Harley Davidson Sportster that was stripped down, with many parts either replaced or ditched completely to reduce weight. For example, there are new 19 inch wheels and handmade fiberglass tank and tail. To turn this Harley Highway Cruiser into a dirt beast, the Australians also fitted the 20 Tracker with the new custom Nitron shocks, performance springs from progressive suspension, and a high-tech muffler's exhaust system. Finishing the conversion is a custom chain kit and an oversized 62 3-rear sprocket for lightning-fast below power. The stock 1199cc V-twin remains untouched, but it is assisted by the new Super E carburetor and a reworked air filtration system. TW200 Tracker by Purpose Built Moto Deus Customs was the first company to modify this particular Yamaha, but back in the day, Californians turned it into a beach runner. When the owner brought it to Purpose Built Moto, the design requirements were updated to a street tracker, so the bike was stripped down to bare bones and fully rebuilt. The rear frame was modified to fit a larger fuel tank and a new handmade cafe racer seat. The original asymmetrical wheels were replaced in favor of 17-inch black motor trims. With the extended swing arm, there was plenty of free space under the seat, and purpose-built decided to fill the extra room with a torpedo a reverse cone muffler. Rounding up the exterior work is the 7-inch LED headlight, a duo of black dome LED indicators and anodized blue handlebars. Finally, the dynamite motor treated the powertrain and juiced more response from the 196cc single cylinder. Blatant Moto Death Rattle Based in San Francisco, Blatant Moto is a team of ex Alta Motors employees who custom design and hand built motorcycles. The company's Death Rattle project is a back to basics flat tracker that uses Alta's all electric drivetrain and boasts proper race geometry that maximizes its advantages. The bike sits on a unique trellis frame with chromoly tubing and swing arm. Its front suspension is barred from Yamaha R6 and is assisted by Weiss Racing triple clamps. The rear shock comes from Pengski. The Durali racing wheels are fitted with Brembo brakes and the all-custom bodywork is vacuum-formed from polystyrene sheets. Blatant Motor removed everything that could clutter the bike and interfere with its performance. So it runs an ultralight wiring harness, while the controls are limited to the throttle and rear brake. Interestingly, the charging port is absent, so you will have to charge the battery at home. Clay Motor Quiet Triad 
created back in 2019. This is a personal project of Clay Moto's Nick Gravely, who took the 2017 Zero FX with a 6.5 kWh battery pack and turned it into a carbon-bodied flat tracker. The design started with the development of a clay model that took 80 hours. Next, Nick ordered digital modeling, created a prototype, and finally was able to order custom fabricated carbon fiber bodywork from China. The resulting set added just 5.3 pounds to the standard weight of the FX. Plus, Clay Moto slightly modified the suspension of the bike and added new 19 inch sun rims wrapped in Shenko flat track tires. If this was not enough to turn the Electric Zero into a legit flat tracker, the company replaced the stock belt drive by the chain and sprocket kit, ditched the foot brake in favor of a handlebar mounted lever, and installed new projector headlights. This video was made possible by the like button. Smash it hard and ensure that the stream of informative automotive content never dries down. Let's keep going. ED Motorcycles Concept Z This model from the Australian ED Motorcycles is a street legal flat tracker with the old school looks and legitimate superbike performance. Developed by an aircraft technician Tony Roberts, it sits on a custom 4130 chromoly frame that is CAD modeled and TAG welded. The body box is laser cut from 6061 alloy, while the motor mounts, frame pickup points, and swing arm pivots are CNC machined. The motor itself is a 757R unit from Zero Motorcycles. It produces 71 horses and 116 pound feet, while at the rear wheel the torque reaches 627 pound feet. The max capacity is 7 kWh battery, packs around 93 miles of range. According to Tony, the Concept Z should sprint to 60 in less than 3 seconds. Finally, the model powers the front suspension setup from Yamaha YCFR6, gets coilover shocks at the rear, and rides on SM Pro 19 inch wheels. Caballero Flat Track Made in Italy since 1968, the Fantex are still in the dreams of riders who value tricolor heritage. While the 250cc version will be departing from the Caballero lineup in 2021, 125 and 500cc flat track regaised models are heavy on the innovations. Both receive new engines that comply with Euro 5 emission standards and feature improved cooling systems. In case of the youth oriented 125cc, it is powered by single cylinder Minerali equipped with electronic injection and variable valve timing. Its new cylinder head allows to reduce fuel consumption and yields higher outputs of 15 HP and 8 pound feet. The 449cc single cylinder four stroke with EFI injection of the Caballero 500 also becomes cleaner. It produces 40 HP and 32 pound feet and benefits from different gear ratio spacing. The newcomers get new side number plates and new silver or matte black body colors. Harley Davidson XG750R Introduced in 2016, this competition bike is the first flat track racer from the brand in 44 years. It is based on the production Harley Davidson Street 750 with a modified version of the 750cc Revolution X V twin engine. The mill is liquid cooled, fuel injected, and race tuned. It is paired with a 4 speed gearbox and a multi disc slipper clutch. The bike also gets a fully adjustable steering, Vance and Heinz 2 2 exhaust and rides on performance machine flat tracker wheels. In 2021, it gets a couple of updates, including the Jetfire orange paint scheme on its carbon fiber bodywork, and for the first time becomes available for purchase, priced at $36,000. Foggy FT Spitfire Carl George Fogarty, often called Foggy, is one of the most successful world superbike racers of all time. He is also known for helping major manufacturers develop enhanced versions of their bikes that would possess unique racing pedigree. The Foggy FD Spitfire, on the other hand, is a somewhat different story. This collaboration between CCM and Carl is more of a nod to his early biking life of road. The new vision implies deep lustrous Rasa Corsa red, blue, or black finish with golden and carbon fiber inserts and black 19-inch forged alloy wheels shot with flat-track racing rubber. 
The Fog EFT Spitfire is equipped with an adjustable suspension, a titanium under seat pipe that creates an enhanced exhaust sound, and optional Brembo for pot twin disc brakes. It is motivated by the usual 600cc single cylinder four stroke that yields 62 horsepower and 49 pound feet. FB Montiel Flat Track Nowadays, the 5x rider and 5x manufacturer world champion is miles away from its former glory. But after the 2014 rebirth, the FB Montiel is making big moves to reclaim the status of the industry leader and even enter new market segments. The FB Montiel flat track model is a dirt track bike that wears road ready tires and gets all the necessary optics to also pass as a street legal motorcycle. Its distinctive exterior features include 19-inch spoked wheels, extra-wide handlebars and the hidden headlights that are mounted under the front number plate. The power comes from a liquid-cooled 124cc single-cylinder that sends 15 horsepower and 8 pound-feet of torque down to the rear wheel through a 6-speed transmission. The 2020 flat track 125cc is Euro 5 compliant, getting a new gen exhaust system and revised engine mapping. Trevor Motorcycles Philippe Stella and Jérôme Vincent Nagels are two old friends and motorcycle professionals that recently gave the world a naked version of the Sorolia electric superbike. The next project of these Belgians is a reimagining of the vintage flat tracker into an unstoppable yet clean bike of the 21st century. The DTR E Stella is built over a modern trellis frame and wears recycled ABS body panels. The model is taking advantage of the Sorolia Performance Developed Powertrain, comprised of a 15 HP brushless DC three phase electric motor and a 2.7 kWh battery pack. It weighs 171 pounds, has around 44 miles of range, and can speed to 55 miles per hour. Among the premium components, we can single out all in suspension, Behringer brakes, and Dunlop tires. FYI, the first 10 buyers of the Stella will get a special Traver X helmet, which was designed by Heaton Helmets. How do you like the flat tracker styling of motorcycles? Are you a fan of this sport? Let's discuss this in the comment section. Support our channel by smashing the like button and consider purchasing a t-shirt with our catchphrase by following the links in the description. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, watch more content, and as always, may the torque be with you!